Hey everybody, I'm Becky and welcome to my kitchen. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm making chicken parmesan today. I'm gonna whip some up. I'm just gonna show you how I do it. It's not one of those things that you have to have a specific recipe for, but you just kind of go with it. So I had some chicken I need to cook, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. So this is my chicken that I have. I had it in the freezer and I pulled it out to thaw it. And I get this from the meat market. And so this is how it comes like this. Pretty big pieces of chicken. So I'm gonna have to cut these up and I'll show you how I do that. I just take the chicken and just kind of fillet it like that. So it won't be so thick. Right about like that. So it's pretty thin, but not too thin. So I have a little buttermilk here that I'm going to soak my chicken in. And I put a little bit of water in there also because uh, it was whole buttermilk. And it doesn't necessarily have to be that concentrated for this. I like to use whole buttermilk for, for my biscuits or when I'm baking a cake or something like that. Oh, if you haven't, if you haven't seen my... Texas sheet cake video, check that out. That is a great chocolate cake to make. It calls for buttermilk. Let's do my biscuits. I will just soak this for oh, about half hour or so. So for my breading, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. This is it. Seasoned breadcrumbs. This is the big can that I get up to Sam's, two of these, you can get two of these for like less than $5. So I'm gonna, and they're already seasoned, so, and then I'll just add like a little bit more cheese to it, some paprika, cause I like to put paprika on chicken, which I use it on just about everything. You know, a little pepper, a little bit of this, slap your mom for some season, for some kick. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of sugar. Anytime I'm frying, frying chicken, I like to put a little bit of sugar in it, so. That's about it. I won't be measuring. I'm just gonna put it in there, however much I think I might need. Yeah, maybe a little more. Maybe a little more, I have plenty of these, so. More Parmesan. Mama, a little bit of pepper. About a tablespoon of sugar. Wow, that's a lot. I probably won't need this much, but I oh, will. Maybe I'll double dip it. Happens. <laughs> All right, bye. Love you. Bye. A smoothie, and you didn't clean your the blender and stuff either. Jackie, you're gonna have to start washing your dishes for real. Just burnt my arm on my pan. I am having a time trying to make this video. <sighs> I have a teenage daughter. Marshmallows or something, I don't know. So when I make this, I don't cook it completely. I just do like a few minutes on each side and then the rest of the time, I'll let it finish cooking the rest of the way in the oven. 
And this is peanut oil in here. Emotional eating. By the way, these are oat milk bars from Sam's. They're so good. Dairy free. So they're not all the way done, but they're done enough to where I can take them out and then they will finish cooking the rest of the way in the oven. I'm getting ready to now make my sauce. I don't do much to it. I keep it really simple. Typically, whenever I make a sauce for a spaghetti or anything like that, I like to cook it all day. But being that I'm pairing this with chicken and cheese and all that kind of stuff, I don't necessarily find the need to do that. I'm gonna saute my onions in here that I've cut up. That's about an onion and a half. I like a lot of onion. Add a little brown sugar. Add some fresh, fresh garlic. I would be perfectly fine with using a nice, a good tasting jarred sauce with chicken parmesan, you know, and just adding some onions and garlic and stuff to that. But I don't have any, so I'm just gonna, I've got a couple cans of these and I've got some stewed tomatoes here. trying to do this video has been quite a doozy today. I really need to clean this. I really do. I'm gonna add some tomato paste. I love tomato paste. It's so rich and tomato-y. <laughs> grab, grab some seasonings from my cabinet up here. What do I have? Got some basil, got some parsley. Just keeping it pretty basic. Got some herbs to provent. Got a little bit of rosemary and garlic here. Might use a little bit of that. I have to say, feeling a little depressed today. Just one of those kind of days. Well, my phone didn't crack. I'm gonna go in my sauce. That break. Oh, nice. Oh, well. <laughs> Well, shortly after letting y'all know how my day was going, my, as you can see, my tripod fell and it broke. So, not quite sure how I'm going to film the rest of this video. Isn't that nice? Hmm. I have put very little salt in my sauce. I'm gonna add just a little bit of Better Than Bouillon because it just gives it an ow. It just gives it a nice flavor and um it kind of gives it helps to give it that all day simmering flavor. At least that's what Rachel Ray said or somebody said, I don't know. Well, I thought I was videoing, but I wasn't, so I'm not sure exactly what I got. Boy, I'll tell you, I'm just having a time with this one. But I just put like a little bit of sauce on each piece. I don't want to do too much sauce because it'll make the chicken soggy. And now time for the cheese. I have two different kinds of cheese I'm doing here. I got some mozzarella, pulled this out of the freezer, and then I have this uh, shaved blend. Got to pick this up from Sam's. Lots of cheese. Ready for the oven. Once that cheese melts, this is gonna look so good. Mm. Look at that. That's when you know it's done. All those bubbles around the side. Mm. Here I 
I go, about to plate it up. I used the pasta that I had in my cabinet, which was a, like a penne pasta. Didn't have spaghetti pasta, but oh well, it works. So, let me get a little, well, gosh, that's a big piece. My mouth is watering. I'm doing this with one hand, y'all. Cause I broke my tripod. Whoa, yeah, there we go. There we go. Chicken. This has been eventful. Really, I need to get a different chair. Yeah. This will be better, probably. Yes, here we go. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, so I was able to find something to prop my phone up with and so that I could do my taste test because I'm the only one here. No kids to help me. So I'm about to taste my chicken Parmesan. Well, I didn't have a piece of chicken in that. That was just cheese. Cheese and pasta. So here we go. It's good. Him and see it. I had some Sister Schubert's in the freezer. They were on sale at Kroger's. Double pack of Sister Schubert's for a dollar seventy-five. So I bought a bunch and just put them in the freezer. They are good rolls. Well, guys, if you've hung around this long, I'm glad you bore with me <laughs> or bared with me what is the what is the correct no, I don't know I'm glad you were able to bear with me how, how about that and give me a like <laughs> give me a like for effort and a subscribe if you haven't that would be wonderful. So, thank you for watching. I'm Becky, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.